this guys good afternoon to all this afternoon i will go walk towards a walk video around st john parish church starting from gall hill court hill road this is st john parish church cemetery here we don't know bury the people st 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 john cemetery is st st john parish church yard is filled we have to bury the people here now this road will take you by the bath and this is St. John Primary School over here. So this is St. John Parish Church Cemetery. And this road is the Battle Guard Hill, Four Roads, and back to Gun Hill on the land. And this way is the St. John Parish Church. Cemetery again, St. John Parish Church Cemetery. We are to bury the people now. Only certain people can get buried in St. John Parish Church yard. And this is the rectory, the rectory grounds. This will also take you by the Clifton Hall and Martins Bay and Church View. And the same point of places of interest in the area. So St. John Parish Church is also another part of Hackerton's Cliff. The southern part of Hackerton's Cliff. Which is also in St. John. Hackerton's Cliff border St. John and St. Joseph. This is St. John's Vicarage, where the priest lives. I'm not sure if the current priest lives there, but the one before, Canon Mary, used to live there. But he's no longer serving St. John's Parish Church, so I don't know who else who, if this one lives there now. I will take a walk around St. John's Parish Church. As I said before, this way will take you down to Hackerton's Cliff, the other part, and by the church view, Newcastle, Clifton Hall, Martins Bay, and back into the parish of St. Joseph with Bathsheba and that area. This is St. John Parish Church here. And this is a little um, board welcoming you to St. John Parish Church and giving you the history. St. John Parish Church, a classic Gothic church situated on a cliff overlooking the picturesque East Coast, is a historical heritage site that was first used for worship in 1645. In the church, one can view, view the final resting place of our late Prime Minister, the Honorable David John Howard Thompson, parliamentary representative for 23 years. We are back to Clifton Hall and Martins Bay, and we are back to St. John Cemetery. And this is St. John Vicarage here where the priest lives. St. John Parish Church is a historic site. A brief history on St. John's Rectory over here. church gift shop and the church office we also sell craft at St. John Parish Church St. John Parish Church 
They also sell craft here. This is the church office and the church hall. This plaque is erected by the Church Council and Congregation of St. John Parish Church in appreciation for the outstanding and dedicated service rendered by Eustace Seagill, Justice of Peace and Ethorn Gollop on December 27, 1992. I will start from here and come around. Let's go to St. John Parish Church where I will be entering shortly. It gives awesome views of the entire East Coast from Northeast to Southeast. Looking over to Church View and Clifton Hall. This is northeastern you know towards the Scotland district. And looking in a northeastern direction, you can see all down to Bathsheba, which is on the east coast, in the parish of St. Joseph. And you can see all down to Martin's Bay. This is Clifton Hall and Church View below here, where these houses are. And you can see all the Chalky Mount, which is in St. Andrew on the Scotland district. And you can see all the way to Pico Tenerife in St. Lucie, which is to the north of the island. So again, St. John's Parish Church is situated on top of Hackerton's Cliff. It is on a cliff. It is, and it is, and St. John is to the east of the island as well. So this is St. John's Parish Church, which dates back to 1645, and it was rebuilt in 1836. This class section. And St. John Parish Church is also a building of national a national historic national trust and a building of historic and architectural interests. St. John Parish Church first erected in 1645, destroyed by fire and rebuilt in 1676, destroyed by hurricane and rededicated in 1836. So this is now inside of the church. Underneath your feet will be the burial ground, will be the tombs of many barbarians. As well, all here is tombstones. So when we enter the church, you'll be walking on tombstones. This is inside of the church. And this is the donation box. So this is the Gothic Church, St. John Parish Church. You can see the pipes for the organ here. So St. John Parish Church is an Anglican church, by the way. This is the pulpit that is made from six different types of wood. St. John pulpit made from six different types of wood. And this is the altar here. And this is where the choir sits. the vestry in the background and this is the organ the keyboard and so on where the keyboards and so on are and the pipes to the back I think the pipes are electronically operated now years ago it was a pipe organ the pipe used to be upstairs this plaque is dedicated to the memory of Carlton Haynes born at Newcastle which is also in St. John on the 7th of February 1858 and died at Woodlands, Hampshire, England on the 20th of November 1945 and his wife Helen Georg Georgina Haynes born in South Africa June 19th, 18, 1860 and died on, in London October 9th, 1958. Beautiful flowers here. And the beautiful gothic windows. And the memory, this plaque is dedicated to the memory of Robert Stuart Fraser, October 15, 1903 to April 6, 1993. 
parochial treasurer of this parish in 1944 to 1959 and his wife Lorraine Mitchinson Fraser July 17, 1911 to October 26, 1994, postmistress of this parish, 1941 to 1960, to love is to serve. So the piano here, and the organ, where the keyboards and the pedals are, right here, and the choir stalls, and the beautiful stained glass windows here. And the pipes for the organ on top here. So these are the pipes. Years ago, this was the pipe organ. The pipe organ used to be out here years ago until they changed it to an electronic organ. This is where the pipe used to be. The organ used to be. Unfortunately, you can't go upstairs. I think the upstairs section is not good or something. This is the baptism font. We christen the babies. No to the churchyard now. Where to bury the people since the one in the cemetery, since the one in the, since this church that is filled, they have to bury the people in the cemetery now, which is over the other side, overlooking the east coast again, all of the Clifton Hall and Church View Road. So you can see the entire Scotland district. This is northeast, the entire Scotland district, like in a northeasterly direction. You can see all up in the hills of the Scotland district, all up in the hills of. Chalky Mount and the Sleeping Giant and all up in the hills of Boscobel and Morgan Lewis in St. Andrew and all the East Coast from here you can see and this is the grave of Joseph Briggs Mears the Mears family buried in this tomb here in St. John Parish Church we come across the graves of many famous Barbadians even Sir Charles Offney Williams, better referred to as Carl Williams, who was a family, who was a former entrepreneur, a, a well-known entrepreneur here in Barbados, is also buried in this churchyard. And here's a map showing you the list of graves in the churchyard, the famous ones, the Haynes graves, the tombs of the characters, the tombs of the tailors, the sundial, where we get to shortly, the telescope, the grave of David Thompson, who was our Prime Minister. Seely Sisters Tomb, Dr. Harris Tomb, Standing Seely Tomb, Ferdinand Palagas, the Grave of Iris Bonoshi who founded Andromeda Garden, the Miller Austin and Barrow Group Tomb, so on. And this is St. John Parish Church, outside. Some more views of the East Coast, the picturesque East Coast. And this is all Hackerton Cliff, the southern part of Hackerton Cliff. So we are looking in a southern direction. I mean, uh, this is in the northern part of Hackerton Cliff. So St. John is St. John Parish Church is in the southern part of Hackerton Cliff. The northern part is where you, the other part where you can overlook the East Coast, uh, is where the Martins Bay bus travels. That part is bordering St. John and St. Joseph, but this part is the southern part now, which is St. John Church and St. Joseph Parish Church is also a part of Hackerton's Cliff. So we're overlooking the picturesque East Coast with Bathsheba, Tent Bay, we can see the Atlantis Hotel at Tent Bay in Bathsheba, St. Joseph. And we can see all at the East Coast Road Beach in St. Andrew. Oh, this is the Scotland District I'm looking into now. The Scotland district got its name because of its resemblance to the Scotland countryside in England and it is the part of the island that carries the most hills. All the tombs of the famous Barbadians who are now buried in this churchyard. Yeah? 
on the grave of the tomb of the Ferdinando, Ferdinando Paleologus. Here lieth the body of Ferdinando Paleologus, descended from imperial from ye imperial line of ye last Christian emperors of Greece, Kirchwar of this parish between sixteen fifty five and fifty six, vestryman twenty years, died October third, sixteen seventy eight. Uh, the East Coast, North Eastern you know. You can see Martin's Bay, which is in St. John, which is another fishing village on the east coast also part of the scotland district this is the hands tomb here and the carter tomb i think this is the silly tomb here yeah this is the carter tomb here the tomb for the, the tomb of the carters So they don't bury people in the churchyard, only certain people. This is the Taylor tomb here. Only certain people that get buried in this churchyard now, to be honest. Out of that, everybody I have to get buried in the cemetery. This is the sundial. And this is the David Thompson Polyclinic above across here at, Coll at Colleton, St. John. At the Glebe. Colleton area in St. John and David Thompson Polyclinic. And the sundial for, for distant viewing. And now looking southeastern, you know, towards Bath Beach, which is in St. John. And we can see over to Concept Beach, we can see the former Earth Satellite Station, the Cable and Wireless Earth Satellite Station at Bath Beach. And we can see all at the Concept Beach in St. John. We can see the ruins for the old bath plantation in St. John. And we can see all at the Concept Beach in St. John, which is another, another fishing village. And we can see all up to the East Point Lighthouse, which is in St. Philip. This is Southeast. And this is all Fortescue, St. Philip, we can see here. And this is Pot House Village. This little village below here is Pot House Village in St. John, where you'll come across the Pot House Spring. And this is the grave of David Thompson, our beloved Prime Minister, who served St. John for 23 years as a, as a parliamentary representative. And he was the Prime Minister of Barbados from 2001, I mean, 2008, sorry, to 2010. This is his photo here, David Thompson. He succeeded Owen Arthur in the election, 2008 election. Here's David Thompson. He's also buried here, but I'm not sure where the grave of Cole Williams is at the moment. And again, this is Pot House Village in Pot House, St. John. And this is southeastern, you know, looking back to St. Philip, which is southeast. Thank you guys for watching now, and have a blessed evening. Stay tuned for part two of the video around St. John Parish Church here in Barbados.